Hi there Aquarius, welcome to your second May reading. We're gonna be doing a love reading, looking at your love situation, messages from your person, um, and seeing what the situation was uh, between you and them. In the extended reading, um, we're gonna be looking at the outcome of the situation, uh, look more into your person's energy, what they're planning on doing, their intentions, their actions, and all of that good stuff, okay? Um, if there's two ways to access the extended, either one time pay through PayPal, or you can join my Patreon, which is a monthly membership. There's two different um, membership levels. Right now, when you sign up on Patreon, well, you get access to all extended readings, but you also get discounts on personal readings. Um, and in the $8.88 level, you get access to all the bonus readings that I do every month, okay? Uh, and when you sign up on Patreon right now, you get put into a drawing for a free reading, okay? So everyone who signs up this month, will be put into a drawing for a free reading as long as they're still signed up by uh, June 1st, okay? So um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it doesn't resonate for you, check your other placements or watch previous Aquarius re readings or you can book a personal reading for yourself. Um, let's see what else. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications uh, so you're notified when my videos come out. Leave me a comment in this comment section if this resonates for you, okay? So let's take a look at your person's um, messages. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to speak to you? What does Aquarius' person want to speak to them, spirit? Did I turn on my mic? Oh, I did. Good. Okay. <laughs> I thought I didn't turn on my mic for a second. I've done that before. What does Aquarius' person want to speak to them? Okay. We've got a good chunk of cards. Hopefully it's not too confusing. Uh, all right, we have, I am coming back soon. All right, so this person, um, you possibly haven't had contact with this person or you guys broke apart, something, and but they're intending on coming back, okay? But look at this. We have, I am scared to tell you something. So they are scared to tell you something, okay? They could have a big secret, they could have something that they did um, when they knew you or when they were together with you, something that they need to get off their chest, okay? They could be coming back just to get that off their chest and get, um, and get closure, but either way, they're coming back, okay? We have the um, turtle. So the turtle can represent being very slow, um, this person going very slow and coming back to you. This could mean that you have a turtle at home. The turtle could be your spirit animal, could be their spirit animal, could just be an animal that you guys love or have around you in some way. It's just a good, uh, what's it called? Just a, um, you know, a confirmation, a good confirmation, okay? If turtle doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry. This is, you know, doesn't mean it's not your reading. We have hermit, okay, Virgo energy. So this person has been in hermit mode. They've been hiding away, um, and maybe you have too, and doing a lot of self-reflection. Uh, Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. We have the lovers, okay? Um, Gemini, Gemini energy. So definitely this person, I feel like, sees you as their soulmate, okay? And I feel like you guys were definitely lovers at some point. We have Aries. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aries. We have release your ex. Okay, so this person, hmm, interesting. That could definitely be talking about you needing to release somebody from your past. It could talk about them needing to release their ex so that they can come back to you. Okay, we have Gemini. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. Wow, we have twin flame. Okay, so this is a twin flame situation for most of you. We have the um, color orange. 
Okay, so orange is the sacral chakra, the second chakra, it's the place of intimacy, sex, and all of that. So, uh, or orange could just be your favorite color or your person's favorite color. Orange could mean a variety of things, but if it means something to you, all the better. We have over analyzing. So this person's been over analyzing with this uh, connection coming back to you, been completely over analyzing this whole situation. I feel like they're very scared to tell you something that something happened. This could be in um, uh, involving their ex because we have let this, we have this one, it's um, let the past go, let the past go. So there's something here, like they're needing to let something go from their past. And then we have marriage, okay? Oh my God, look at this. Once again, we have twin flame again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have twin flame twice. We have, um, I was distracted. You inspire me. We have the color blue, which is the throat chakra, or blue could just be your favorite color or the color of your eyes or person's eyes. We have please move on with your life. I see you in my dreams and everywhere I look and I really miss you. Okay, so this person really misses you. They see you everywhere they look. This person is most likely your twin flame. Okay, we got two twin flame cards. Um, but we have marriage here. Like you could have been married to this person or you met them when they were, they were married. Mm. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that this person from for a lot of you, this person was mar married when you guys met. And I think that's what they're scared to tell you. Or they could have just been coming out of a marriage when you guys met. Um, which is common, actually, when two twin flames meet. It's very common for one of them or both of them to be married already. But that's why we have let go of the past. That's why we have release your ex. And that's why we have marriage. Okay? And that's why they're overanalyzing the situation worried about it thinking about it too much because i think they needed they need to tell you um for most of you i feel like they, they need to tell you that they were married when you guys met okay i think this is going to be a very specific message but we'll see how it goes all right this person is, feels very inspired by you um but this person was also distracted when you guys met so that could have been them being in the marriage being with somebody else, um, being in some kind of karmic relationship. This person may still be married and trying to get out, but um, not sure. Sorry, my son just came in the room. Not sure if they can get out. Sorry, my son came in the room and turned the light out on me. It was like really nice of him. So, <laughs> he's four. <sighs> he's crazy. All right. So I feel like this person needs to tell you that they are married for most of you. This person isn't sure, I feel like, if they can let go of their ex, if they can let go of the past. Um, and, and because of that, they're asking you to please move on with your life, okay? But I feel like they're going to come back and explain this situation to you. <sighs> yeah, I'm scared to tell you something, and I'm coming back soon, okay? So yeah, for most... I feel like for a lot of you, this person was married when you guys met... Either that or they were just coming out of a marriage and you didn't know that. You guys, they could have been going through a divorce. Okay. I'm guessing, you know, for most of you watching this, you already knew or had a hunch or something like that. So if this, you know, uh, resonates, then I'm guessing you already knew. Okay. So let's get some more energy here. All that glitters. Okay. Yeah, wearing, wearing a mask, um, pretending to be something they're not, like looking one way on the outside and being a different way on the inside. So that that makes a lot of sense. I saw the yin card as well, which is the divine feminine. So I definitely could be talking to more divine feminines here instead of divine masculines. Sorry, my mom is here watching my kids and... Um, it doesn't seem to be going too well. <laughs> okay, so we have Unfinished Symphony. 
Yeah, wow. So there's something here that's not complete. There's an unfinished, there's unfinished business here between you and this person. And they know that. And you know that. That's why you're watching this reading. Because you know that there's unfinished business between you and this person. We have poise, which is you're ready. Okay? You're ready for something. So you could have been preparing for this union, I feel, maybe for a while. And um, as far as a twin flame union goes, there's a lot of healing that needs to get done in the intermediate time before you guys come together. So I feel like because of this hermit card, you guys have both done this inner work and really gone within and done, done that self-reflection. And now um, there's unfinished business and now you guys are ready to um, come back together or talk at least about this, okay? What else is going on with Aquarius' this person? Or their situation. Any other cards? Okay, deep knowing. Yeah, that's kind of what I was just talking about. There's a deep knowing here. Um, a leg up, yeah. So there's a deep knowing that you have and that this person has. Uh, both of you know what your connection is. Both of you know um, the energy of the other person. For most of you, I think that you already knew that this person was in another connection. Um, so when they tell you, it's probably not going to be a big surprise. But I think that they have, you know, a full story to tell you that, you know, it's kind of like you had to put together the pieces. So yeah, this is a very specific message for some of you. Okay, I don't know how many this is going to resonate for, but Wow, look at that. Have faith in your dreams and a new romantic cycle begins. Wow. So I feel like it's taken a lot of faith for you to believe that this can come back together, especially feeling like, you know, or knowing that they were married. Um, that could have felt impossible, you know, like I, I don't know if this is ever going to work. The energy is gaining momentum. The energy is gaining momentum. That means that things are starting to pick up in, re in regards to the situation. The energy is starting to gain momentum. And so um, what is about to happen, I feel like is going to happen soon between you two. All right. I feel like there's a talk that's going to happen and that needs to happen. We have a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo, so more Virgo energy. So you you could be definitely dealing with a Virgo. I'm getting from that card that your person really wants to like give themselves to you. They want to give their heart to you. A time for healing. Yeah, there is, like I said, there needed to be um, a lot of healing in the in-between time. So, you know, I felt like you guys met. Things couldn't get off the ground. There was time apart. Both of you needed to heal. Both of you needed to take care of certain things in your life. And um, now I feel like the energy is picking up in regards to this situation and something is about to happen. Uh, confidence is the key to your success, new moon and Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo and then step out of your comfort zone. So this person is going to have to step outside of their comfort zone and make a very um, uncomfortable conversation happen, all right? Confidence is the key to their success, yeah, for sure. They're gonna need a lot of confidence to come towards you. And, you know, I always tell people, I don't always tell people, but I've told people in the past that sometimes, I mean, these these readings, obviously, they're, they have the potential to come true, but it's up to your person. You know, they have free will. The cards aren't going to force them to do anything. They need to get the courage necessary to come forward if they are going to come forward. So you could hear a million messages saying, yeah, this is the most likely outcome, but they still have to have that courage. They still have to make that decision. Okay, so it's, it's up to them. You know, the cards only give you an idea of what's going to happen or the most likely energy or outcome, but... It's still up to you and that person, right? Um, what you guys decide to do. So this person, you know, needs a lot of courage to come forward and talk to you. 
okay? So what is going on between, um, let's look at the past situation or just whatever, whatever spirit wants to bring up right now between you two. We have seven of pentacles in reverse. That usually to me, that means that there was stunted growth. Something started, but it wasn't able to finish. It's like a, a flower that didn't get watered properly. And uh, The seven of pentacles in the upright too can talk about patience, something taking a very long time. Um, but in the reverse, I feel like it's stunted growth. Something happened, something started, couldn't finish it, couldn't grow it to its potential, all right? What else? We have the Empress. So, okay, well, this is interesting. I just saw the Nine of Cups in reverse too. Your person could have been dealing, yeah, with the devil right after that. Uh, your person could have been dealing with some um, heavy addiction issues or like drinking too much or just, um, being a little bit too um, obsessive or codependency. There's something here that they did in excess, okay? And with the devil right after that, so that they're, they've needed to heal from during this time. This is past energy. We have the empress. So I feel like this empress energy is, for, so for some of you, this, ener this energy is like the new start. The new start that needed to be nurtured, but it wasn't, it couldn't, it, 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 you know, stopped growing because you couldn't, you couldn't nurture the connection because it was impossible. There was, um, barriers getting in the way for others of you. What I'm seeing with this card is that maybe there was a pregnancy. Um, their persons, uh, their persons, pers their person. Okay. Never mind. Their person could have been pregnant at the time. And maybe that's what they needed to come tell you. You might know that they were married, but you didn't know that there was a baby on the way. That's for some of you, very select few of you, but that's what I'm definitely seeing from that card, okay? For others of you, this was the new beginning that needed to be nurtured, but wasn't couldn't get nurtured because there was too many obstacles. And so the the you know, the new beginning couldn't grow into something more solid. But yeah, I'm definitely seeing like pregnancy for some of you with um, your person's person, okay? Especially if I'm talking to like the, the divine feminine here. Um, if you had a divine masculine and they were married at the time, their wife could have been pregnant at the time when they met you. Oh yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. Either that or just had a baby, okay? And that's why things couldn't get off the ground. Yeah, justice in reverse. King of swords, eight of wands. Um, so I feel like I feel like this person's gonna come and bring you a lot of truth here. Okay. Um, they're scared, I feel like, to make this move towards you. The world in reverse. Things are not quite over with you guys. But here's what they have to do is they have to bring this truth towards you. They have to come and talk to you and communicate with you. I think that the things, you know, that they were experiencing in their life weren't very fair for you, for them, for everyone around the situation. It just wasn't a fair situation. Maybe you guys felt like, why would we meet at this time? Why would the universe do this to us if we weren't meant to be together? Um, why would we, why would I meet my twin flame if they're already married, if they're tied down and I can't? Um, be with them, okay? What I'm seeing here and feeling is the purpose was for your own healing, their own healing. You know, it sparked something in you guys that needed to heal. So then you separated and you went into hermit mode and you did your healing and you did the work and that in and of itself is a huge, um, huge thing, okay? What else? We'll look at one more thing before we move on to the extended here. Wow, that flipped all like crazy. Okay, yeah, four of cups in reverse with a three of wands. So this person doesn't want to 
wait anymore. This person doesn't want to miss any more opportunities with you. They weren't able, see, you were offering their cup of love, your cup of love here. They were not able to take it. They had um, other obligations and other things. So I think, I feel like they're done waiting. Okay. They're done they're done in that energy where they want, they don't want to resist this anymore. They don't want to not have this opportunity with you anymore. And I feel like with this three of wands, they know that something's right on the horizon with you guys. They could have initiated the divorce or, or something. And I feel like they're going to explain that all to you. Um, wow, this is such a specific message that I've never really gotten a message like this, but uh, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, so we're going to yeah, the fool in reverse. Yeah, being very scared to take this leap of faith. S really scared to stay, <laughs> really scared to step out of their comfort zone. Hoping that it's not a foolish decision what they're doing. So we're going to move into the extended and see what the outcome is going to be for this situation or the most probable outcome. Uh, like I said, I can't guarantee what your person's going to do. They need the courage to do it. Um, the cards are just going to lay out what the most possible likely outcome is. We're going to look more into your person's energy at this time, what they're wanting to do, what they're thinking about doing, and um, what their intentions are, all right? So uh, if you want to follow me to the extended, please do so either through the one-time PayPal or through Patreon. Um, like I said, if you sign up on Patreon right now, you're putting a drawing for a free reading, free 40-minute reading, so it's a good deal. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I will hope to see you guys there, and if not, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye. So... They're not going to run around or sneak anymore, okay? They're going to put themselves out in the open, all right? So to me, that just means they're going to expose themselves. They're going to expose how they truly feel and their situation to you. Um, they're going to, um, how do I say this? They're going to show you what their situation is and who they truly are with the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? So that's good. Um... Sometimes the Seven of Swords in Reverse can mean that they're going to stop running. Seven, Ten of Wands in Reverse. Hmm. Ten of Wands in Reverse can mean that they're not able to let go of a heavy burden. They're struggling to let it go. With the Ten of Wands in the upright, to me, this usually means like they're letting go of a chapter. They're letting go of heavy, heavy burdens and dropping the baggage, but it's in the reverse. So I'm, I'm feeling like they're, they're struggling to let go of um, this situation here okay I, I just i feel like they can't handle it anymore not talking to you though like they need to say something what else is going on with them at the current moment spirit yeah 